is Seth Pan for Eva. I'm hosting the upcoming virtual gallery night for Spoonies and other disabled people on Friday, September 23rd, and that's hashtag Artful Spoons. And today I'm going to answer some of the questions that I have gotten from my friends and fellow Twitter users. One of the questions that I've actually gotten from multiple people has been, how long is it going to last? I will personally be monitoring the hashtag participating fully by liking, retweeting, and tweeting artwork um, for at least two hours from the start. Um, actually about two hours after the start time, I actually have dinner with my grandma for her birthday. So I will still be paying attention to the activity, but I will be doing it with much less focus and much less attention, kind of under the table at the at the dinner. And the hashtag, much like a gallery, will be open for continuously for weeks, really, until we have another one of these events. That's the benefit of a virtual gallery. Another question that I have gotten from a couple of different people is whether the artwork needs to be about spoony themes. The answer is no, but it can be if you want it to be. If your artwork is just about love and sunshine, then that's fine. If your artwork is about the dark despair that you feel when you're in severe chronic pain, that's fine too. Whatever you want to share, it's up to you. Whatever the theme is, it's up to you. I might try to do a themed gallery night sometime in the future, but I wanted this first event to be simple, just easy for people to, to, to participate in. Another question that I've gotten from multiple people has been, is my medium appropriate for this event? I don't care if you do coloring books, I don't care if you make jewelry, I don't care if you crochet, I don't care if you make live broadcasts if you're sleep talking, that sounds great to me. I believe that if you're an artist and you consider what you uh, make to be art, then it's art and it is more than welcome at our event. If you are wondering whether or not you can share selfies, absolutely. Self-portraits are an ancient artistic tradition and in fact I would encourage artists who are comfortable to share a self-portrait in order to introduce themselves at the beginning of the event. However, if that doesn't make you feel comfy wumpy, then don't do it. Absolutely, privacy is cool too. It's totally up to you to decide what you share. Someone also asked about doing a live studio session during the gallery night. That is totally up to the artist. My one concern for you would be that you wouldn't be able to participate fully in the event. However, if that's how you want to display and demonstrate your artwork, then definitely go for it. Do whatever speaks to you as an idea of how to participate. This is really up to you on what you want to share and how you want to share it. I have been asked questions about eligibility for participation. In particular, I was asked if someone with mental illness might qualify, and absolutely. This event is open to all people with disabilities, everyone who considers themselves a spoonie, anyone with chronic pain or chronic illness. It's also open to the full spectrum of neurodivergent people. So if you have a mental illness, then you are more than welcome to share your artwork. You are a part of this community. someone is able-bodied and neurotypical and wishes to participate in the event, they are more than welcome to view the artwork as well as retweet the artwork that they enjoy. The number one rule is do not steal the artwork and repost it. This rule applies to everyone. For those who want to share artwork that inspires them, it's important that you only share artwork that is your own creation. I also want you to avoid sharing anything that might constitute a copyright violation or plagiarism. It's really important that 
what you show us is something that you've created and more than that, that you have the rights to share online. A lot of Spoonie artists and disabled artists have experiences with their artwork being stolen and I definitely do not want to perpetuate that in any way. This is not an opportunity to grab images and put them on your camera roll and use them later. This is an opportunity to see and support Spoonie disabled neurodivergent artists on Twitter. I've also had a mix of interested responses from both professional artists as well as casual crafters. I think the professional artists are interested in knowing whether or not they're welcome, and I think that the casual crafters are also interested in knowing when they're welcome. Now a lot of people have Etsy shops, they have Instagram accounts, and they want to bring people in. They want to use this as an opportunity to show their artwork to a lot larger audience. And I think that's a great idea. The only request that I make is that if you're going to include an, a link to an outside website like YouTube or Instagram or Etsy, then please put that link in an actual threaded comment rather than make it the initial post. Especially when viewing on mobile devices, it can be difficult to click in to a tweet in order to see the content. So it'll be better if you post native Twitter photos, native Twitter videos if the video isn't too long, and then include a link to your account on another website as the first comment to your video. You're also welcome to include artist statements or not include artist statements. You can really do as much or as little as you feel comfortable with and it doesn't need to be a super professional presentation in order to be welcome. This isn't about impressing people, it's really just about giving you an opportunity to show people how you spend your spoons. And finally, a few people are interested in knowing when the next Artful Spoons Gallery Night will be. And the truth is, I don't know. If this event goes really well, then I will definitely schedule something right away. And if you have a date in mind, then let me know. Comment below. Tell me how often do you want to have an event like this? Do you want to see it weekly, monthly, twice a year, once a year? What about this event appeals to you and what do you want to see going forward in this event and the next event? I think I've answered all the questions that I was asked on Twitter and I even came up with a few extra questions just to preemptively satisfy your curiosity. And any further questions, I will gladly answer them when I get to them. Otherwise, I'll see you on Friday, September 23rd, at whichever time applies to your time zone. I tried to pick a time that was accessible to people all the way from the west coast of America into Europe. So, hopefully I picked a time that works for the greatest number of people, and hopefully, I'll see you there. Bye!